What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech. So if you're like me, you've cut the cord or you're about to cut the cord. So these set-top boxes, these multimedia streaming boxes are super important these days. And this one from Xiaomi, the new Mi Box S, is a 4K set-top box that's been officially licensed by Google. Now there are a lot of these Chinese multimedia boxes out there and a lot of them have some better specs than this one here. But a lot of them, I'm gonna say 90% of them, are not officially licensed by Google. And why is that important? Well, if they're not officially licensed, you don't get the Chromecast built-in feature. If they're not officially licensed, you don't get 4K Netflix. If they're not officially licensed, you don't get access to the Google Play Store. So it's really important to make sure it's officially licensed. This Mi Box S happens to be officially licensed, so we're gonna take a look at this one. If you are interested in picking this up, check my link down below where you can find worldwide shipping from Banggood. So enough talk, let's go ahead and take a look at this Mi Box S. And what we're gonna do in this video, I'm just gonna show you a quick comparison with the Chromecast Ultra and the Fire TV, because most likely those are also products on your list. But I'm also gonna test out keyboard functionality, and of course, the most important, we're gonna test out and see if you can just plug in a hard drive to this thing and play some movies directly right off the bat guys you can see that the packaging to the fire TV is pretty similar so I wonder where they got their design cues from taking a look at the back here you have support for Dolby digital out you have Chromecast built in Google assistant built in you also have 4k ultra HD plus HDR support quad core CPU but for those of you that want to know the specs, just pause the video and read that for yourself if you're really interested in all the technical specifications. But other than that, you have a pretty clean presentation. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Get the little unboxing knife here. Open that up. And then in the box, this is where you will see the actual device. We'll put that aside for now. And then you also have some manuals. What else do we get in here? Take this out. Inside the box, you get the actual device. You get a nice HDMI cable. You have the power adapter, and then you have the remote as well. So let's just take a look. 5.2 volts at 2.1 amps. Taking a look at the remote control, it's pretty similar to the Fire TV. It's just a little bit longer here, but you do have the Google Assistant button right on the top. You have your D-pad with your selection button right in the center. You also have access to your apps back and home. There's a dedicated Netflix button there, and then you have the live button here. So if you do have a HD home run or some sort of TV tuner card, you can access it by just pressing live, and then you have volume up and down. Now if we take a look at the Mi Box S, it's a very simple design, very sleek design. Taking a look at the back of the device, you have your audio out, HDMI input, and then you have a USB port as well as your power. This is the size, if I put it in my hand, it's still very portable, but it's a little different in terms of what the Amazon pendant design gives you, just to give you a size comparison for those that wanna know. But it is a different design, and this is a Google Chromecast Ultra, which is actually built into this, so you don't need this Chromecast Ultra. But let's go ahead and plug this in, see what it looks like, and go from there. Once you have everything set up, guys, this is what the interface looks like. And I have been playing with this, I have installed some of my favorite apps, but the layout is really nice and very simple, very clean. And you can install Kodi right from the Google Play Store onto this, so you don't have to sideload anything. So for some people, I know it's a little difficult to sideload it onto Fire TVs. And a lot of times you just don't want the hassle when a new update comes out, you have to sort of sideload that update. Well, with this box, it gets directly updated from the Google Play Store. So it's really, really simple. And after playing with this box for quite some time, guys, it's a really capable device. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this one is Google certified. So before some of you start typing and telling me in the comments below that there are more powerful devices and there are other devices that offer more for less, blah, blah, blah. This one is Google certified. And for me, that's important. That means you get 4K from Netflix, you get 4K from Google Movies. You also get 4K from a lot of other apps that you would not get if it was not Google certified. And not to mention, you do get the Chromecast built in. For less than the price of a Chromecast Ultra, you get an entire set-top box. You get a remote control and you just get some more easeability with this device so you can download Kodi and all these other apps that you couldn't with a Chromecast device. So Google certification is really important for a lot of people who don't wanna to have to deal with side loading 
and with doing all this trickery to get other apps to work with the Google Play Store. Prime Video works on this. Now you do have to sideload these apps, but Prime Video works perfectly. Mobdro, Cyberflix, everything that you'd expect to work on Android will work perfectly here. And taking a look at the layout, it's very nice. You have your favorite apps up here, and this is completely customizable. You can add and remove apps from your favorites list up here if you want to, or you can just go all the way to the left, and this is your app drawer, and then you can sort of see everything that you have downloaded, and then you have access to the Play Store right here, and to the Game Play Store if you want to play games on this. The rest of this side panel is basically just showing you recommendations from your apps, from your channels, and you can remove these if you want to, or you can reorganize them if you want YouTube to be a little bit lower on the list, you can do that, or you can just delete it entirely. And then sometimes when you go to customize channels, a certain app, a certain channel will have multiple recommendations for you. And not all apps can be put on this side panel, guys, just keep that in mind. But if you look at HBO Go, for example, you can have it show you what's featured. You can have it show you what they recommend for movies or series. So you can put all three of these down in this list if you want. If you're a super HBO fanatic, you can see all your HBO channels down here. And I think this is really cool to look at as well. This being a certified Google product, you do have Google Assistant built in. And it is built into the mic, a dedicated button. Or you can just press here at the top. What's the weather? Tomorrow in Lord's Valley, it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 27. So you all know what the Google Assistant can do by now. So that's really cool as well. You do have Google Cast and that's what I mean by getting a certified box. You get Chromecast built in. You know how that works. You just send it over from your tablet or phone. And that's a great feature to have in my opinion. This box has been super, super capable, a very good multimedia box and everything works as you'd expect. Prime Video, if I show you that, Go to play. Prime video works perfectly. Plex is working great on this. Mobdro. And then all your other apps that you sideload work absolutely perfect. Cody works absolutely great on this as well, guys. I do have a hard drive connected to this and the Mi Box S only has 8 gigabytes of built-in storage. For some of you that might be enough, for some of you that play a lot of games that might not be enough. But if you just use these basic apps like I'm showing you here, 8 gigabytes is fine. Once you install a hard drive you have a couple options and you can play directly from it. So if you have a hard drive that has a ton of movies or TV shows, just connect it to the USB port and it'll play. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Another option you have, if you go to storage, you want to keep that external hard drive connected. All you have to do is plug it in and then reformat it as a storage device. This does have adoptable storage, which basically means any hard drive that you connect to it externally, the operating system is going to treat it like it's an internal drive and it'll just combine the internal and that external into one. If you do have an external hard drive plugged in, all you have to do is go to a media player such as MX player here. It'll automatically see that I have a device connected. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the movie and it's going to start playing automatically. I could highly recommend this for anybody that's looking for a nice set top box, somebody that wants something simple and there is a better Android TV box out there. The Nvidia Shield has been on the top for quite a number of years, but that's really, really expensive when compared to this box. And if you don't need all that power, if you're not a super gamer, if you don't need to run a Plex server from your Android TV box, this is going to serve for what most people want in a box. And I can definitely say this is better than any Fire TV stick or any Fire TV box. If you love the Google ecosystem, if you do want that Chromecast ability, and if you want the ease of just downloading apps like Kodi right from the Play Store, it just makes it super simple. So I can highly recommend this, guys. And again, check my link down below for worldwide shipping where you can get this shipped to anywhere. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.